Thank you, Pierre. Uh, good afternoon to all. It's a pleasure to be here with you. And certainly, this issue is uh, uh, a key issue for biodiverse conservation, as uh, was stressed by Kathy, Simon, and Piero. And certainly, the CBD is taking very seriously uh, the importance of, uh, of this issue. So, uh, it, this is uh, an issue that is uh, coming up more and more. Uh, the spread of uh, invasives, and um, as was mentioned again, uh, with climate change, we're bound to see even more of that. But uh, uh, more importantly, of course, we have to uh, take better measures to prevent invasions uh, uh, associated with the human uh, introductions um, of, of invasives. Uh, this is, for example, uh, uh, an example about invasive uh, rainbow trout uh, threatening the native uh, uh, cut trout, uh, uh, trout uh, in um, in parts of the uh, U.S. and Canada, uh, and um, they are hybridizing. So uh, again and again, we're seeing uh, examples uh, like this uh, happening. So. Uh, of course, uh, park managers uh, need to uh, uh, pay more and more attention to this. We have all the countries that uh, have agreed to, uh, the, to prevent uh, invasives, to control invasives, and wherever, wherever possible to eradicate them. And of course, protected areas, we expect to have more pristine ecosystems and we expect that native species will be duly uh, protected. So we don't expect uh, 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 invasives to become established in protected areas, but of course this is happening. So we need to really uh, 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 pay more attention to this issue. Uh, so th the CBD has been uh, discussing this and providing uh, broad uh, guidance on this issue. And uh, 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 of course, we need also to look more uh, closely to the guidance for park man managers for protected areas management uh, to better uh, incorporate this issue into all their uh, management plans and, and activities. Of course, uh, much of the uh, uh, actions to prevent invasives cannot take place at the park level. It, it has to be taken at global, regional levels at the borders, uh, uh, so of course uh, uh, the protected areas community needs to be engaged with these broader discussions on how to enhance the, the prevention uh, of uh, invasives because you all know once an invasive species is established it's very difficult to uh, eradicate in many circumstances uh, virtually impossible and uh, to control them is very costly and it, 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 it will probably be uh, a cost that you will have to bear for the rest of the, the life of, of, of that uh, particular protected area. So, uh, you know that uh, um, uh, we have IT biodiversity target number nine as part of the, uh, the current uh, uh, strategic plan for biodiversity, that uh, where the governments have agreed that by 2020, invasive alien species and pathways that facilitate their spread are identified <coughs> and prioritized, and priority species are controlled or eradicated, and measures are in, pla in place to manage pathways to prevent their introduction and uh, establishment. The CBD has uh, been, uh, uh, um, as I said, uh, 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 discussing this, and we had in 2002 at COP6 in The Hague in the Netherlands a first major decision on uh, guidance for the prevention, uh, control, and eradication of invasives. However, as Piero noted, the, the recent uh, uh, report that we issued at COP12 last month in Korea, GBO4, showed that uh, the, the problem is still increasing. Uh, and uh, though we recognize that uh, um, there is uh, uh, an overall increase in efforts to implement the 20 I2 biodiversity targets everywhere. 
uh, the main conclusions of that report is that current efforts are not enough. So if we just continue what we're doing now, we will not meet the uh, uh, IH biodiversity targets by the end of the decade. So there's a need to increase our efforts. And um, a major decision at the COP, or, or some major decisions were uh, 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 labeled the Pyeongchang Roadmap, uh, where uh, parties agreed on a number of uh, approaches to increase their efforts to implement the IEG uh, biodiversity targets. Uh, regarding uh, um, the issue of invasives, uh, some priorities I did find is the, uh, to uh, enhance our work with pathways. We have been doing that in partnership with many international organizations that established uh, standards, for example. Uh, and to enhance border controls and quarantine uh, systems uh, to uh, 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 better control <laughs> the spread of invasives. Uh, to do this, we need uh, 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 partnerships. So we have a, a Global Invasive Alien Species Information Partnership uh, uh, together with IUCN, with GBIF, and several other uh, uh, important organizations. And that, through that work, we're uh, 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 hoping to facilitate access to updated information about invasives to everyone. Uh, and so facilitating all this sharing of information and facilitating uh, uh, surveillance and early warning uh, uh, systems at different scales. And uh, of course, very importantly, uh, we're paying attention to the need for enhancing technical capacity, technical and scientific capacity in all countries to deal with uh, this uh, issue. And as you know, some countries have a long tradition of dealing with invasives, but others still, uh, for them, this is still a new issue, and we need to uh, train many more people uh, to support uh, their capacity. So, uh, uh, major outcomes at the COP uh, include guidance on devising and implementing measures to address the risk associated with the introduction of alien species as pets, aquarium species, terrarium species, and as live bait or live food. So this was a decision adopted by all the parties, and in fact, this constitutes a new international standard to uh, prevent the spread of invasives through these pathways. And uh, we know these are quite important pathways. We have been working with other uh, 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 partners on other pathways, but this was one of the major gaps that we were working for several years. So I'm quite, quite pleased that we were able to uh, uh, finalize and adopt this decision. Uh, future work uh, uh, agreed is on risk uh, communication, public awareness on invasive alien species, uh, making better use of international standards, information sharing, and continued effort on management of invasive alien species, with special emphasis uh, giving priority and, and importance to protected areas and key biodiversity areas. Um, this is, uh, 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 there are many, many uh, examples. This is about uh, the issue of the dengue fever spread by uh, Aedes aegypti which is uh, spreading throughout the world. And you can see here the trends uh, in uh, recent decades, how the spread of uh, the dengue uh, fever is uh, uh, becoming more prevalent in many parts of the world. And it's also uh, affecting, uh, uh, for example, many uh, protected areas, and uh, uh, including uh, uh, visiting uh, uh, of these uh, protected areas because of the increased <coughs> risk for, for visitors. Um, among other uh, important standards that have, uh, we, were have, we have been working with is on animal disease and zoonosis with international uh, uh, agreement for the creation of the Office of International uh, Episodes in Paris. Uh, and uh, uh, through them, we have been working on several standards. Uh, on human diseases with the World uh, uh, Health Organization, with pets, uh, pest of uh, plants and animals, we have been working, uh, or mostly plant, uh, plants, we have been working with International Plant Protection Convention, and also uh, um, 
agreement uh, with them on, on uh, uh, application of sanitary and phytosanitary measures. Also with IMO on uh, ballast water. So there are a number of uh, efforts we have been uh, uh, coordinating with other uh, um, agencies to really uh, enhance our effectiveness uh, to really uh, uh, prevent the spread of uh, invasives through the pathways. Uh, in the global uh, partnership, uh, we have this uh, inter-agency uh, liaison group on invasive alien species with a number of uh, uh, important organizations and also the work on, on uh, standards and trade, as I mentioned, with several uh, uh, important organizations. So trade is one of the, the key uh, uh, pathways uh, for uh, the spread of uh, invasives. <coughs> so all of this is ongoing uh, work. Uh, and we look forward to continue our work. So as you know, the CBD is mostly a, a, uh, a global forum for uh, established uh, norms, regulations, and to better coordinate the work with, uh, with uh, uh, all the countries. And just to finalize, mention to you that uh, a major effort is to include uh, this issue as part of the revised MBSAPs, the national uh, uh, strategies and action plans for biodiversity. So not all countries have so far identified or prioritized this issue in their national uh, strategies and I think that's a work uh, you can all help me to make sure that all countries uh, uh, do this. The Global Environment Facility is funding uh, 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 140 developing countries to revise their MBSAPs so they're uh, due to finalize this next year so that's an important opportunity for us to include this issue in their uh, uh, revised NBSAPs. So look forward to hear uh, uh, the presentations and whatever uh, recommendations that come out from these discussions we're uh, uh, really uh, looking forward to continue to work with you and help through the CBD uh, uh, to our common cause. Thank you very much.